So I think 2011 is a, a year of migration. Uh, it's a year of transformation for the entire exchange community and the keynote is, is addressing six critical issues that I see will occur for exchange uh, installations in 2011 as they prepare for what's quite a radical choice that they have to make. And that choice is do they go and deploy Exchange 2010, the latest version, uh, which also implies an operating system uh, upgrade because they'll, they'll have to deploy Windows uh, 2000 A or 2, or do they go into the cloud with something like uh, Office 365. And, and this is a huge and fundamental uh, challenge for most companies to consider. You know, in some cases Office 365 is absolutely the right choice. Um, companies that have struggled perhaps to run mail servers for years and have been doing it with a, a server in the corner, something like Office 365 is going to be really up their street. But for large distributed, more complicated companies that where email is part of the infrastructure but also uh, a resource that's used as part of the infrastructure, you know, other applications use it to send SMTP mail for example, then that choice becomes far more complicated and, and complex so they're probably going to go with Exchange uh, 2010 and that's what I, 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 the keynote is all about. What are the critical success factors and I've broken them down to the six areas that I want to talk about tomorrow. And, and hopefully it'll be good. We'll see. Well, the hot thing in any field, uh, I, uh, I think, is influenced by a number of factors. Uh, theory marketing uh, tries to create the new hot factor. And uh, if you look at the hot factor that, that um, that's in the, the exchange market today, it is uh, Office 365. It, it's the thing that uh, the Microsoft folks are, are pushing quite, uh, quite heavily. They've made a huge investment in data centers. It's a multi-billion dollar investment uh, in the data centers. They've made a huge investment in engineering because they've built uh, Exchange 2010 to deal with the needs of hosted Exchange. They've made a huge investment in automation because clearly they can't go and deploy tens of thousands of servers and hope to host tens of millions of mailboxes and do it in a manual fashion. So um, the Microsoft marketing people are pushing Office 365 quite, quite, uh, quite a lot at the moment. And that creates then its own dynamic within the install base because the install base is thinking, well, what does it mean for me? I mean, uh, the, the, the cloud, it's a fairly nebulous kind of concept anyway. Uh, but they've, they've got to think about, uh, okay, are there any benefits in it? What are, the, what are the benefits put into the context of my company? Uh, what are the benefits for me as an individual? And what's the threat to me as an individual? Because clearly, you know, if I'm an email administrator today, I may not look at the advent of Office 365 with a whole heap of enthusiasm, but maybe it's the right thing for my company. So this is a, this is a huge dynamic that's going on with, within the email uh, industry at the moment. But the important thing to say, of course, is that hosted e email is not new. It's been going on for years and years and years. Exchange has been hosted for, gosh, I know, at least 10 years now. And, and, and what's happened though is that be, Microsoft has almost legitimized it in the eyes of CIOs. And of course as the economic conditions have degenerated over the last number of years, the whole cost question comes into sharp focus and uh, people get really, 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 really focused on the cost thing. And, and the, the notion that consuming a cloud service for something that is a standardized application like email for a fixed price per month or per year is, is pretty compelling. Uh, but you know what, when you peel away the onion, there's lots of little areas of cost there. There's lots of little gotchas. Uh, there's lots of things that you have to think about. And those are, those are the issues that we're, we're gradually teasing out in our own mind right now. It's, it's causing a lot of discussion, debate and whatnot. So it's, it's, it's an interesting time. Well, so what do I do? I, I guess I break 
my work life up into three areas. Um, firstly, I help some companies figure out what they're going to do in the and given the current developments inside the the industry. Well, that's a quite an interesting challenge because um, it's the kind of thing I used to do as a CTO inside HP. You know, figure out what new stuff is coming along and figure out what uh, what um, problems this new stuff is going to have or new opportunities this new stuff is going to uh, develop for uh, a company. Uh, what's challenging about doing it for other companies, of course, is like I don't have the background or knowledge about those companies, but still it's something to do. The second thing, um, I am helping some companies figure out what they're going to do with um, with email going forward. Uh, some pretty big hosted deployments, so getting people off their on-premises environment and migrating them over to to the hosted environment. That's that's quite interesting. It's a lot of learning there. Uh, and then the third thing is that uh, Paul Robichaud, uh, myself, um, and Brian Desmond, we have this thing called Exchange 2010 Maestro, which is a three-day training event that we run a couple of times a year. We're actually running it three times in 2011 in, in uh, San Diego in May, in London in June, and, and Greenwich, Connecticut in, in um, October. And basically that's to help people master Exchange 2010 technology. So we try and do that over three days. Have a lot of fun at the same time.